Good morning. It's our first full day in Casablanca and we've woken up feeling pretty tired. Yep, I would happily have slept for about double the amount. We only got about seven hours, um, which considering the fact that we were up for about 36 traveling here, then yeah, we feel a little bit underslept, but we're going to try and get ahead of it, uh, go some, and see some stuff in Casablanca today. Let's get going. our tour and all I can say is wow basically yeah like it's, crazy. it's nothing like I've ever seen before like it's just so expansive and beautiful like the decorations are subtle but like yet so detailed like it's just exquisite yeah I think it was probably one of the most impressive buildings I've ever seen um, and I mean given the grandeur and given the significance the fact that we were even allowed to go inside as people who are not followers of Islam like it's it's incredible that we even get the opportunity to go inside so I think it's one of the only mosques where that is allowed exactly and for it being what we found out was the third largest in the world to get to be part of that and to get to experience that is just incredible yeah, we also found out some interesting facts. Like, it was built in only six years between, I think they said 1987 and 1993, which is incredible yeah. given the vastness. Yeah, apparently they had people literally working around the clock, about 10,000 um, people working like on three different shifts to make it so that it could be done in such a short period of time. Which is and crazy. I think it's nice that they use mostly Moroccan materials too. They mm. said that. They used a combination of Moroccan granite, yeah. wood, and what was the other? Like the, the tour guide was absolutely lovely. Um, Threw in a few jokes there here and there as well. It was really nice. And A hundred percent worth coming here. And yeah, couldn't recommend this highly enough. We just got back to our hotel. And yes, I did change because the sun is no joke and chub rub is real. But breakfast was incredible value 
Yeah, so we ended up getting a croissant each, a coffee each, and freshly squeezed orange juice each. And the whole thing came to 28 dirham, uh, which in equivalent to Canadian currency is about $3.50. Amazing value. So let's hope that continues throughout the trip. Mm -hmm. But now we're just going to go um, give the hotel our luggage to stow for us while we go out and explore some more. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. So what we're seeing here with all these lovely palm trees, this is Arab Leaf Park. Uh, so it's pretty much like in the centre of the city. This is the uh, Cathedral de Sacre Coeur, Sacred Heart Cathedral, uh, which is, I think, one of the largest Catholic churches in the whole of Morocco. Um, and with this park then, it was initially uh, created in 1913, but it recently underwent some construction about three years ago, all of which is finished. And now here it is. This seems like it would be such a nice spot to have a picnic or like walk your dog or I wish I could dip my toe in because it's so hot. Another day. This is a big square in the middle of Casablanca. However, it used to be an old souk and it has a lot of historical significance because of the French colonial history here. But now it's just like a lively, bustling city. Oh yeah, you're totally cool last. I'm not really that hungry, but here we are. Have yeah. you seen how big he is? In my defense, I'm a little bit hangry, so yeah. Um, and I know that we got a big train journey coming up, so I wanted to make sure I was properly fed. So, sorry. Love you. Love you. I basically got a, well, they called it just a lemon juice, but basically it's kind of like a slightly less sweet, um, like cloudy lemonade with some mint in it. And it's, it's so refreshing. And it's just perfect on a day like this. And now we're waiting for your pasta, which hopefully will come soon. Fingers crossed. So if you're wondering what that sound is, besides just my voice, that is the Muslim call to prayer. Not only are we finding ourselves in a predominantly Muslim country, so this is quite a new thing for us, but also it is technically Ramadan, so it's even more holy for them at this particular point. Okay, official taste test, Nick. Alright, so I ordered basically pasta with chicken in a white sauce, so I'm not 100% sure what to expect here, but let's give it a go. Really good. The 
thrown a lot into here in terms of like spices and herbs and stuff, so it's actually really added to the flavor. Yeah, I think I'm going to quite enjoy this. I feel like not very Moroccan today. Not but brilliant, but from that perspective, but nonetheless. We'll get better. Yeah, it's going to be appreciated all the same. This is only day two, but really our first full day, so. Exactly. The, we'll learn. The Moroccan food will commence starting tomorrow. Whew, that went down well. How long did that take? I don't even want to say five minutes because I think that'll be a lie. Yeah, I think like three. Yeah, sounds about right. So we are now officially here at Gare de Casa Voyageur, um, which is where we need to go to get on to our next city of Fez. We had a bit of an interesting time with the taxi. Uh, we were told at the front desk that um, the Petit Taxi, which is like the main company that does all this kind of stuff, has a bit of a reputation for overcharging tourists. Um, so she basically said that the local rate is actually about 30 dirham um, and that we needed to be told to um, get the taxi driver to put the meter on. So we went on with this knowledge and the instant that we started trying to insist that the meter was put on, the driver started, like, basically motioned to take our bags out um, if we didn't accept the flat rate of 50 dirham instead. Um, so that was enough to basically coerce us into just getting it done. Which one do you think about it? Exactly. Fundamentally, it's fundamentally, it's still very cheap, but obviously maybe not as cheap as what it would be if we were local. But we're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, we're here, so that's the key thing. Now to uh, try and sort out train tickets and go from there. Tickets to Fez, and we are just in the boarding gate, just waiting to go down. And yeah, got probably about three hours and forty-five minutes on the train. And then next thing you know, we'll be right there. They've just given us some tea and we're waiting on it. I'm sure it'll be ready any minute now. But in the meantime, couldn't think of a better location to hang out in, so pretty lucky.
Okay, so it is officially food time. We had like an aubergine dip that was described by our server and now we are really going into the main course. So what we have here is a tagine with meat and prunes as well as couscous with meat and vegetables. Let's tuck in. And finally, it appears we got a surprise dessert. So there's two of these on the plate and then there were three of these on the plate. This one is basically kind of like a marzipan and then this seems to be almond based with sesame seeds and stuff. Absolutely delicious. We just got back to our Riyadh after a really amazing dinner and I think we're just going to turn in now. We're kind of tired. It's only our second night here so still adjusting to jet lag but it is 11.06. People actually eat apparently really late here like at 9 o'clock so we fit in tonight. We did. Yeah. And it was delicious food as well. Very traditional. Actually, mm -hmm. we liked it so much. We might go back to the same place because the people were friendly too. By the way, it's called Shea Rishad. And you can find it on TripAdvisor. So highly recommend. Yep. So that's, well, this is all ahead of a full day in Fez tomorrow. But until then, take care. Keep smiling.